Middlesbrough appointed Tony Pulis this week as the successor to Gary Monk. He oversaw the game against Bolton on Boxing Day, but takes official charge for the first time today against Aston Villa. His side face a team who are level on points with them in the championship table, and the two teams drew 0-0 when they met earlier in the campaign. Villa immediately with plenty of possession. They go all the way back. Steve Bruce's side coming to this game on a poor run of form, not helped by injuries, of course, to some of their key players. Here is Hurricane, though. Spreads the play to the former Middlesman, Albert Adoma, who will be desperate to score today. He did get his shot off, but it was a decent block in the end. And that will be a free kick and an early booking for Grant Ledbetter. Robert Snodgrass stands over this, curls it towards goal, takes the deflection, and that really took the sting out of it. There's been a rejuvenating atmosphere around the Riverside since Pulis' arrival. Sam Johnston punches that away. Fans believe the former West Brom and Stoke manager is the man to get them up back to the Premier League at the first time of asking. He certainly will add physicality to this team. And he's already implemented Rudy Gastead to partner Britta Somba Longa up front as we await this throw. Players just edging forward. Plenty in there. His aim towards Gestead. Nobody can get a touch. Panic stations at the back momentarily. Before it goes off El Mohamedi and out for a corner. Another lead bitter specialist delivery here. Just taking his time. The noise ratcheting up a notch here. Sam Johnson stayed away. And the header, luckily for him, was wide of the mark. Miller will start again. Playing it out from the back. Was missing the likes of John Terry and Christopher Samba from their defensive lineup. Problems further up the field as well. The likes of Henry Lansbury, Jonathan Codger. Not available for selection today. That will be mopped up by Gibson. Oh, that's sloppy. Give it to his former teammate, Adoma. He gets another shot off, and at the second time of asking, Randolph collects. Here's George Friend, who's been reintroduced to the side, following a, a spell out. Very popular in these parts, the left-back. Middlesbrough have some defending to do. Here's Adoma, who's looked very lively. Thought about the shot and tried to play in Snodgrass, but it was well read by Middlesbrough. And here they come. Here's Britta Sombolonga. In a wide position. Has two for company. There's been Snodgrass and El Mohamedi. Going to stick to their task. Fans beginning to get a little impatient. Chance here, though! Into the ground and into Sam Johnston's arms. Long ball looking for Gestead who gets his token flick on. Can't link up with Britta Somba longer though. Those two haven't played together very often. That partnership may take a couple of weeks to flourish. That clearance bounces off his own man. And here's Gestead again. Let fly, but it's over the top. Neither side has been able to make the breakthrough just yet. It's not been a game that's quite opened up yet, although there have been a few half chances. Maybe another one here, though. The Domus cross is long, almost caught out. Ryan Shotton. And George Friend is a just to have fouled Robert Snodgrass. Plenty up for this. 
flicked on at the near post and onto the roof of the nets. Danger averted for now. Thren just taking his time with this throw, getting instructions from Pulis on the sidelines. That's nicely worked. Here's a somber longer. Thinks about a shot and gets it away, but is off target. Was surrounded by Villa defenders. Villa have lost their last two away games. Disappointing defeats at Derby and Brentford. They almost found a way back in against the Bees on Boxing Day in the Championship late game. That's a good ball looking for Adoma, who has 11 goals this season. Here's Greenish on as a substitute and almost has an impact. Randolph at full stretch. Button gets things started again. These two also played one another in the Carabao Cup this season. Middlesbrough won 2 0 at Villa Park on that occasion. Here's Adoma once again. Him and Greenish getting each other's way. But Villa still have possession. Shot and jostles and does concede a corner. Connor Hurrihane wants to take this quickly. We'll get it back from Grealish. Nice interchange. Across from Grealish. Chance for a shot. Straight down the throat of Darren Randolph. Here's Downing, who's had a quiet game by his standards. Shot and swings in across. Ashley Fletcher was in there challenging. Downing's delivery. Up and under by Hutton and a back in by Halson. Well, it's not been... A great afternoon for Scott Hogan, who was replaced by Russian Hepburn Murphy. Buttons throw. Maybe caught Middlesbrough unawares for a second there. Adoma again, chip ball to the back post. And it's nodded home. A late blow for Middlesbrough. And it's inflicted by Robert Snodgrass. The former West Ham man goes over to celebrate with those travelling fans who have come in numbers to Teesside. He doesn't get many with his head, Robert Snodgrass, but this could be a crucial goal. Gets in ahead of the defender. This would be a big win for Villa. They haven't won in December. They're going to end 2017 potentially the big three points and a much needed victory a shot in the arm for their playoff hopes they just need to keep their concentration though because Middlesbrough are dangerous Villa could add a second though here Albert Adoma skipping away he's a little short on supports he actually gives it away in the end Villa could have done with him holding it up for a few seconds longer. Alan Hutton will no doubt take his time with this throw. There's absolutely no need to rush from an Aston Villa perspective. This would be an important victory and not many sides will come here to the Riverside and leave a maximum haul that was towards Hepburn Murphy Randolph will start again quickly distributes it Downing goes inside to Housen here's Ryan Shotton who loves to get forward decent in swing and cross but nobody gambled It's the away fans that can be heard 
Ringing around the stadium. They're in fine voice. Grealish. This is Hepburn Murphy. And that's it, it's all over. Defeat for Tony Pulis in his first game in charge. A much needed win for Steve Bruce. Villa have collected all three points from the Riverside Stadium. And it's Robert Snodgrass with a header who snatches it at the depth. Middlesbrough nil, Villa 1.